Gino mentioned you've been making big, big strides from last year to this year. What have you done to improve your craft coming into this season? I mean, there's always something new to learn coming into every season. And there's always, every day you get better and try to work on what you have to do. This year, I've been working with Coach Lopes on my hitting to try to improve things that I didn't do good last year to try to help the team this year, and especially also on my defense. And you guys have been working with in the indoor facility using all like, you know, yeah. the high-tech cameras and all that stuff. How much, what have you seen you know, that's helped you in your game you know, using those? Uh, the thing that's helping my game is probably especially the cameras and the different angles looking at you and to see what you're doing wrong, what you're doing right, what can help you. So that's what we've been working on in there. And what have you personally been working on the most, you know, from uh, last season to now? Uh, probably my timing and separation with my hands and just trying to get the timing of the pitcher. And, you know, after having such a great year last year, I mean, is there any, do you feel like there's any extra pressure on you to kind of be like one of the main hitters in the lineup this year? Uh, not really. I feel like this is a game I've been playing my whole life, and so now I'm really pressure going into the season. Anything else for you, Yo? How excited are you for No, super excited, of course. Uh, last year, my first year, we didn't really have a full stadium that we wanted to. And this year, playing in front of the amazing crowd that we have here in UM is, especially in front of our friends and family, and everybody is going to be great. Gino said that uh, you guys, it seems like you're closer this year, and may, some of it might be the COVID factor. Yeah. And you have to sit of course. And all that. What, what kind of difference has that made that you're able to be together and stuff? I mean, I feel like it makes a big difference, you know, uh, being with your teammates, basically they call brother every day in the locker room that, because last year we couldn't do that. And this year we just all bond together and we do everything together. Anything else for you? Lopes mentioned that Dom had really worked on his back load, getting that elbow up yeah. on that, on that uh, delivery or on that load rather. Uh, what have you noticed about his offensive improvements and how much of a bigger factor do you think he could be this season? I honestly think it would be a big factor. Uh, and the hitting part of the game. Defensively, I feel like he's the best shortstop in the country. Nobody competes with him, but offensively, I feel like he stepped it up a lot this year, and he's going to be a big part of this team. Do you think one guy's going to break out in the lineup this year? Who do you think it's going to be? Uh, everybody. I feel like we're going to have a great, strong lineup this year and win a lot of ball games. Uh, to be honest, probably uh, scrappy and young. But a lot of people are probably doubting us now that we have a new young team and don't feel like we can accomplish the things that we can. But we're going to prove everybody wrong and show everybody what the University of Miami is. Coach mentioned um, last year, you know, the COVID protocols, you guys were all separated and how important it is for this year. You guys are together. And just talk about the togetherness, you know, you guys yeah. going into this season. How important is that? I mean, being together is always a great thing, uh, building a bond with all your brothers and teammates. Like last year, we were all, like separated, so we couldn't really like get together and just be together and be kids again. And that's a big part of this program this year. And we're all just going to go into this new season together and do what we can. We're all kids at heart. We all like new toys. It's yeah. about having that new uh, facility that you guys disclosed outside of the team about having. Oh, super. It's amazing. It's you know, the weather in Miami is so unpredictable and you never know when it's going to rain, what's going to happen. So it's always great to go in there on rainy days and just work when other people can't. And not to mention, he also let it beat the sound system. I mean, you guys can get a nice little party. No, yeah, we always do. We always got the music up in there and just focusing on our game. What was the alumni game experience like for you? Uh, you know, Coach yeah. was saying it's so similar to the football program and how their alumni base yeah. is so strong and you guys feel that support. Yeah, of course. It was amazing seeing all these guys that came here and represented the green and orange and just to come here and be able to play them and talk to them and pick their brains, just, it was amazing. Yo, yo, what's it like to have a relatively packed ballpark again? It was a great turnout for the alumni game. I yeah. assume you guys will get that for the rest of the season as well. Of course. Uh, always having a crowd here is a big part of, you know, who we are. Like, playing against other teams, they're going to be intimidated and just having the support behind us that we need to win ballgames.